Swatty Cup and welcome to the only TV show dedicated to all you lovely tourists in Thailand. Yes, and I believe we've got a big expat following too. Everybody's welcome with the What's On Thailand show. Cue the intro. Welcome to this week's What's On Thailand show of Inspire. I'm Dan. Mm -hmm. And I'm Martin. I remembered my line this week, Dan. You did. You was a bit slow last bit week. Slow, yeah. We're back in the studio. Last week was in Bangkok, of course. Very nice it was too. Good to be back. Glad you're here with us. What's coming up? Oh yes, we are indeed glad everybody's back and we're on the sofa. We hope you're having a great time in Thailand. We certainly are. And we hope we can make it a little bit better with all the events that's happening in and around the country on the show this week. Yeah, we've got lots on the show this week. So stay tuned for, and actually stay tuned over the next couple of weeks because we're going to have a few changes, Dan. We're going to be massaging the show a little bit, you know. Yeah, and it's going to, always going to have a happy ending. I can tell you that. Mm. I think we just about caught that. And you also need to stay tuned because we've got the hot dog gate saga with Ash and his vegan diet he's on. Um, do keep your mobile phone in your hand because we've got some QR codes that will be appearing on screen. That will save you money. Let's start, as always, with the viral videos and photos doing the rounds online with Thai Visa The Nation. Highly amusing as always. Now, when you're out and about on the streets yourself, if you get any good photos or videos like that, please email them in to myself, dan at choicegroupasia.com. Look forward to your replies. Mm -hmm, yes, indeed. Now, next up, we have uh, got our man in Bangkok. That's right, our very own Ash, and uh, he's actually been, uh, he's been on a little bit of a vegan diet again, Dan, you know, we're following it avidly, uh, but he's still on about these hot dogs being vegan. With If you go online, you can find out about the whole conversation but the guy's just a, a wee bit not there. And actually, he, he's not even lost any weight, believe it or not, because do you know what, Dan? He's been hanging around uh, the soy Middle East um, up in Bangkok there, and I think he's been having a cheeky a cheeky little kick chicken kebab every single night, you know, and piling all the weight on, you know? But uh, he does, one thing he does know, he doesn't know about vegan diets, but he does know about events in Bangkok. He's number one, take it away, Ash. G'day, I'm Ash, a foreign citizen living in the Big Mango. I'm 30 years, 34 years old, sorry, and still haven't really grown up, to be honest. So on that note, here are some parties, events, and maybe even a little bit of food that might tickle your fancy. Don't let Daddy know. It returns to Bangkok February the 2nd and 3rd, following on from the success of the debut event in Bangkok last year. DLDK will extend to two days, and it's at Live Park in Bangkok. This is with top-notch new stage designs and lineups that will include a superstar that everyone knows called Martin Garrix. Make sure you don't let Daddy know. He will end up tapping you on the shoulder in the middle of the dance floor asking you where to find some disco biscuits. Get on down and check it out because I reckon it's going to be a party. I love me food and I love Italian food. The Italian themed buffet at the Terrace at 72 Ramada Plaza, Bangkok, Menon Riverside. This is my hotel of choice on the Chao Phraya River in Bangkok, right near the Asia Teak. Every Wednesday and Thursday is Italian night. Plenty of fusion inspired delights such as Harmon Serrano, beef carpaccio, couscous, 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 couscous salad and baked oysters with cheese. It's a huge selection buffet, so uh, get on down and check out if you're in the area of Chao Phraya. Good old Chang is back with a festival, and it's massive. Genie Fest 19 at Runja Mangala Stadium on February the 10th. This is a celebration of the 19-year Genie record success with the Genie Fest 19 rock concert. This is an absolutely huge lineup that will feature over 20 rock artists and bands, 25 hours, big ass, body slam, pang knuckle in, paradox, and heaps, heaps more. 
My favourite Thai band by a mile is Body Slam. They are a cool rock band and the lead singer is an absolutely top dude. This one is definitely worth a look if you are around on February the 10th near Ranjamangala Stadium. It's not that far from the city of Bangkok anyway. Blast, Pool Series Double Treat by Hilton, Saturday the 10th of February. Blast, the second year anniversary celebration of their monthly pool party series, featuring Simone Liberali, a young Italian DJ whose track, Can't You See Me, reached number two on the Beatport Tech House chart and also number three on All Genres chart. These are really cool parties, the three Bs, beers, beats, and boobs. The sun is always out in Bangkok, except when it's rainy, so combine the three Bs with a swimming pool and some barbecue food, and that's what I call a bloody good Saturday afternoon. So get on down and uh, check it out, guys. Well, that's it from me for this week. Here's a pickup line for you guys. You are so beautiful that I want to be reincarnated as your child so that you can breastfeed me. Cheesy, yeah. InspireBangkok.com for events and offers. See you later. You be you better. Thank you, Ash. And Dan, did you know that Ash has got, it does have his own, very own Facebook page, mm -hmm. Ash in Bangkok. Have a little look. And uh, as I said, we're talking about his vegan diet this week. Uh, and uh, it, all we can call it is maybe hot dog gate. Have a look at this. It's a scandal, Dan. It's a scandal of Ash in Bangkok Facebook page. When will Ash learn? There's a lot of things in life he needs to learn, and one of them is hot dogs, perhaps not your best vegan diet. He's the real life Australian Mr. Bean. He even said to me in the office, you won't believe this, that he thought hot dogs grew on trees or something like that. Uh, we'll ponder that thought and we'll be back right after the break. Welcome, you're of course watching the What's On Thailand show of Inspire broadcast multiple times a day throughout Thailand including Pattaya, Bangkok, Hoi Hin and 24 other provinces. You can also catch us online via the Inspire platforms. Whew. Well, so I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting a signal in here, Dan. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, our eager reporters are waiting live as we speak. And our very first place we're going to head to today is the sunny seaside coast of Pattaya. What's happening down there? Come in. Hello everyone, Guang in Pattaya again. Let's look at this week's events. The popular Hemingway Sports Bar in Jom Tien Complex is now one year old and to celebrate, they are holding a big birthday party. This takes place on the 1st of February and expect a lot of prize to give away as well as live music and of course delicious food. Next up, we have the JP Classic Cup 2018 at the Retreat Lawn Bowling Club Pattaya on 17th and 18th of February. There will be 50,000 baht prize money as well as the trophies. Entry fee is only 1,000 baht and include food for both days. Popular UK rock group Goober Gun will be jetting in to do some gigs in and around Pattaya. They will start at the Burapa Bay Week show on the 9th and the 10th of February and also at the Blue Lagoon on 15 February and Boost Lounge on the 16th. For more dates, pop onto InspirePattaya.com. It's getting close now, so once again just to remind you that the New Nordic Music Festival 2018 will take place very soon, starting from February the 1st until the 7th, and will be held at Marcus Building on Pratamnak Soi 4. Lastly, more music now in the form of old Southern Rock. 
This is at the Lion Pub Soy 17 near 3rd Road and takes place on the 2nd of February. From the 4th and North come to a red hot southern rock band called The Mud Pie South. Don't miss it. That's it from me, Guang. See you all next week or maybe I will see you at the new Nordic Music Festival. Bye for now. Oh, smashing, smashing. Thank you for that report. Actually, it's nothing. It's just my finger. It doesn't matter. It's TV, mate, so it doesn't matter, you know. Anyway, listen, uh, what we were talking earlier on during that little sequence there was how much Pattaya has changed. Mm -hmm. And uh, the demographic of the tourists, the average tourist that is visiting the town is much, much wider, wider, more diverse. It really is going more upmarket. If you're a family watching this elsewhere in Thailand, get yourself down. There's two world-class water parks, don't you know? Uh, and as well as lots of family attractions in and around the eastern and seaboard area. Get yourself down to Patia. Mm. Patia, more up market. Uh, the jury's out on that one. Somewhere else that is up market is Hoi Hin. They've also got two water parks as well in the Black Mountain. Ideal for kids and the more adventurous might want to try the Vana Nava next to the new Holiday Inn down by the Takia region. We're going to cross over there now for some fresh air, find out what's happening with the lovely Dasha. Mm. My finger's working again. Mm. Dasha, Dasha, you're there, you're there. <laughs> Hi guys, Dasha here in Khoa Hin, keeping up to date with this week's events. First up, we have entertainment every Tuesday night in form of the Bangkok Beatles Live at Father Ted's in Soy 61. This is only for the month of January, so you better be quick. More live music for now as Zuber June play every Saturday night at the Siam Handlebar Khoa Hin. This venue is a cool beer garden setting and is located at 1991 Fet Kasim Road. Next we have the Crazy Pink Party at Hua Hin Marriott Resort and Spa on Friday 2nd of February. Flick off your flip-flops and enjoy an evening of barefoot bliss on the shores of Hua Hin with our live DJ sets from DJ Krissa, DJ Bell and DJ Adashi. Lastly, remember to join me next week as I will do a rundown of all the approaching venues to take that special lady to on Valentine's Night. And with that, I will say goodbye for now and of course see you next week. Bye! Thanks Dasha. Now I've promised my kids I'll be down there in the next couple of weeks. They want to go and ride on some horses on the beach, so we'll see you all then. Yes, you cannot beat a bit of riding on the Wahin Beach, you can tell you that, mate. And, uh, and it's actually legal too, which is great, smashing. Okay, listen, don't go away because we are keeping the roll, keep going on the What's On Thailand show. Back in two minutes. Yes, welcome back everyone to the What's On Thailand show with Inspire. As you can see, um, a little bit of Thai here. I'm actually Condiao, and that means I'm alone. I'm alone in the sofa because Dan, he's headed down to the Super Sports where he's going to keep us up to date with all the sports on TV. Have you got your QR reader ready? Because he's got a special promotion courtesy of Super Sport for the month of February. Hello sports fans, already plenty of excitement in the English football premiership and maybe this is Manchester United's year. Sports on TV brought to you in association with Super Sports. Let's go ahead and find out what games are coming up for the week ahead.
Some midweek games to kick things off. Wednesday, 31st of January, 2.45 a.m., Swansea take on Arsenal. London derby time, West Ham versus Palace, also at 2.45. And then Huddersfield welcome Liverpool to the John Smith Stadium at 3 a.m. Thursday, 1st of February, 2.45 a.m. games include Chelsea home to Bournemouth, Everton welcome Leicester to Goodison Park, Newcastle home to Burnley and Southampton versus Brighton. 3 a.m. games include Manchester City, Champions in Waiting, home to West Brom, Stoke take on Watford and then a huge game as Spurs welcome Manchester United to Wembley Stadium. And finally, let's all get fit with Super Sports in 2018 with their Get Fit campaign. Use your one card to get up to 30% discount in store. And do click on the QR code on screen now. Go on, get your phone out. You can even do it via the search on Facebook. Look at the top right when you click on search and then redeem your 500 baht discount voucher to spend in store. Cracking deal, that one. Go on, click now with your mobile phone. That's it from Sports on TV in association with Super Sports, the number one sports store in Thailand. Did you click that QR code yet? Thanks, Dan, for the update of the sport. You know, I know absolutely nothing about football. I'm actually going to get Dan to explain the offside rule to me later on because uh, I'm, a I'm a little bit like a That way, all I know is there's a game of four quarters, you know, no nothing. Anyway, something I do know about, I know about great movies, and we know that Nina is at Major Cinema right now, keeping us up to date with all the latest releases. I wonder how sexy she's going to be this week. <sighs> Yes, you. It's me, Nina, here at Major Cinema. Give me three minutes of your time and I will give you three movie updates. Is that a deal? First movie released this week is an Oscar-nominated Tom Hanks movie called The Post. This movie follows the story of... Next, we have Maze Runner 3 and the special effect in this movie look great. So it looks like a real popcorn film to take your girlfriend to. <laughs> Lastly, let's look ahead to next week. It's a movie for all the lesbians out there. It's the next in the Fifty Shades of Grey series and this one called Freedom. I will 100% be going to see this one. That's your movie this week. If you would like to save money on your cinema ticket, then remember Wednesday are 80 baht day. Join me again next week for much more movie with me, Nina. Bye bye. Sexy as ever, Nina. She's a feast for the eyes, Dan. Mm. That's just my favourite bit of the whole show, actually. You know, I get a wee, I get a wee, uh, a wee tingle. I get a wee tingle every time she comes on there. You know, but uh, I, I, I hope one day the Barry Norman mm. of the movies. That's Nina. Mm. Will take me to to maybe a romantic flick one night. I fancy that Fifty Shades. That's uh, that looks romantic. <laughs> you and Nina on the back seats. Nice blanket. Some. Hot dogs to eat, <laughs> maybe. Popcorn with ash. Huh? <laughs> it's not through want to try, and I can tell you, poor Nina, every time Martin's around her, he's saying, can we go to the cinema together? Uh, God loves a trier. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, We're coming on. up to a commercial break, back in just two or three minutes. <laughs>
Welcome back. You're watching the What's On Thailand show of Inspire. Of course you are. Where do you get entertained as well as this with oh, two quite attractive looking guys on screen? I'm kidding. Right, let's look at some offers and suggestions from around the key areas in Thailand, namely Bangkok, Hoi Hin and Pattaya. And Martin's going to kick us off uh, with a competition. Yes, it's competition time. Sounds a little bit like Harry Hill there, doesn't it? A wee bit like... yeah, okay, like if Harry you Hill. want to win a Thai Garden Resort competition, that's right, we give away four tickets for free every single week. Head up there to Pattaya North Road. They've got a great buffet every single night. They've got a different style of buffet. The food is superb. You've got a little Filipino band giving you some romantic music whilst you sit around the beautiful swimming pool. You make me want to go here, Dan. Anyway, if you want to win the four tickets, you have to scan this QR code that's on screen right now. That will take you to a page where we'll have a special competition question. Then all you have to do is follow the instructions and you could be the winner of this week's four tickets for the Thai Garden Resort. Um, we explained earlier on how you do the QR code. If you don't know, just stay tuned. I will tell you about it in a few minutes. The wonderful world of QR codes. Right, let's go to Bangkok now. And if you're a lady, I'm sure you know plenty of ladies, maybe even your wife sitting next to you now, uh, there are some free drinks waiting for her. Uh, ladies, every Friday, get two complimentary drinks when they order any dish or snack before 10 p.m. Uh, every Friday, uh, so it opens from half five. It's the Owl Society Gastro Bar, which is on uh, Sukhumvit Soy 61, just 40 meters from the major Ekamai and BTS Ekamai. So what are you waiting for? That's your Friday night. What are you waiting for? Did you know, Dan, I mentioned it last week, um, you were actually not there, but the Owl Society is actually a secret society of millionaires. Did you know that? So I'm not sure whether that was the name why it came from, but it's true. So maybe if you head along to the bar, Maybe you win the lottery, or maybe you meet a millionaire, who knows, something like that. Uh, but since it's a, a female special, I think I'm going to don my wig on and, uh, you know, head down there. You never know. I could get away with it. You never know. Um, listen, the one I'm going to chat about very briefly is the Rendezvous Bar in the Landmark Hotel. Famous hotel on the Circumvent Road there. Every Friday night, they have got um, wine tasting and tapas. I love that. Tapas. A Spanish for little lids. Do you know that? Tapas. It's Spanish for lids. Lids. Because oh, okay. what it is, you get small food and yeah. little lids, and you lift the lid off, and it's tapas. Nice. There you go. Anyway, um, we've got Chilean wine, Australian wine. Happy Australia Day, everybody, last week there. Uh, wine of the world and top class wine. That stands from 5.30 till 9pm, only 890 bar, and that is every Friday night at the Rendezvous Bar Landmark Hotel. Wow. Okay, I'm going to head down to the Ramada Plaza, Manam, Bangkok Riverside. There you go. It's by the Chow Prior River and just along from the Asia Teak, so it really does make for a nice day out. It's the Chinese New Year, apparently, and the Year of the Dog. Did you know it's the Year of the Dog? Ruff, yeah. ruff. I thought well, that's why everybody's been feeling rough this, this year, actually. That's a weak joke, Martin. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll script it next week. Right, so anyway, the Ramada Plaza have got a Chinese buffet lunch dinner at their terrace at 72. Uh, do ring ahead, go on to Google or inspirebangkok.com to get their details. It's 1,400 plus plus for adult and 700 plus plus for child. If you don't like Chinese, they've also got a fantastic um, international buffet, which we're good fans of to the detriment of our waistline. So. There you go, something to do. Ni hao, ni hao. I don't know how you say Happy New Year in Chinese, but I'll find that out for you next week, mm. definitely. I know it's Saudi P. Mind Thai, but I don't know the Chinese, but we will find that out. Now, moving swiftly down to Pattaya now, I've got a great little um, a, a great little secret, actually, Dan, that you should maybe take advantage of. Now, most people actually love pizza. It's one of the most popular uh, dishes in Thailand, actually, you know? Uh, yeah, and in Pattaya, there's lots of different places to try pizza. Now, we know that people have got their favourite. They might go to one of the big companies or they might have their little special favourite hidden away somewhere. But we've got a brand new one that's just started. It's called Pizza Italia. It's a delivery-only service, so you need to go online if you want to make a delivery, OK? Um, now, this is actually run by an authentic Italian chap who knows all the ingredients uh, to do from Italy. And he imports all the whole lot, you know? So all I can say is try and give it a try. You never know, you might love it. He's got special promotions online. They've got special combination sets. Uh, just let me give me some uh, little uh, example here. Here. You can get a large pepperoni pizza, spaghetti bolognese, you can get a large cola, you'll get it delivered straight to your hotel room. Um, and it's uh, there's various prices, they start from just over 400 baht. So head online, the uh, email address is on screen right now, Pizza Italia. Maybe could be the number one pizza in Patia, you never know. It could be. I actually want to give the telephone number there as yeah, well, okay. just in case. Um, because I, in fact, we've got a pizza turning up from there in a minute, such as the <laughs> office that loves it. 
038 074 714. Do try that because the pizza, I'm a big fan of the bases yeah. and I think he's got the base absolutely yeah, yeah. perfect. It's coming, it's coming in 15 minutes. If you just stay tuned, it might come in as we speak. The doorbell will go. <laughs> he can be part of the show and we can eat while we finish off. Uh, okay, Hemingway's Pub and Restaurant in John TM, just before the arches, before the beach, they're celebrating their first year anniversary. It may well have been in our event section, but I wanted to give this a plug again. Friday, 2nd of February, free barbecue, live music. They've got some fun and games planned. We're going to be down there, so maybe we'll see you. Mm, Hemingway's and John TM, we love that. Massive place, massive place. Okay, just a very quick one now. If you like your barbecue ribs and who doesn't, there's a great place to join in there. It says Smoking Joe's Barbecue, right next to Steak & Co on Soy Lanky. As I said before, I mentioned it last week, um, they've got over seven sauces, Dan, to go with your ribs. Uh, last week, I tried the Tennessee sauce, and it's a uh, sort of um, brandy based lovely rich sauce if you like barbecue ribs then head down to smoking joe's and don't forget they've got daily specials every single day you'll find that on the inspire website well said and a little footnote i think i might try that out tonight mm. Mm. Uh, when i was writing the script i thought i've not been down there yet uh, we're going to cross down to hoi hin now valentine's is on the horizon Ooh. now we are in thailand it's the city of love probably the easiest place to meet someone would you say yeah, possibly, yeah. If, uh, no money, no honey, you know. And Valentine's Day, you definitely need money. It, de it, it, depends, on where you, it depends on where you go. Anyway, Hoi Hin are already heavily behind their Valentines. It, it really shows the diversity and differences between regions because Patia is yet to pull their Valentine's meals out of the bag. Plenty on offer. One here is a special beach meal, free course set meal, 2,999 baht per couple. Wara Bura. Hoi Hin Resort and Spa. Uh, also check out inspirehoihin.com because we've got loads of deals coming through for Valentine's down in Hoi Hin. Okay, now staying on Hoi Hin, I'm just going to briefly mention if you want somewhere a little bit more, say, you know, authentic if you like, you know, authentic, you can maybe have an authentic Irish Valentine's night down at Father Ted's. That's right, Father Ted's number one Irish bar in YN, easily down at Soy 61 there. Every single week they've got live music there. I think the live music is on a, a Friday night. They've got sports and TV, great food down there too. Uh, just a great venue all round. Head down to Father Ted's if you fancy something and maybe maybe a pint of the black stuff. Mm. I was hoping the accent was coming. It's coming, it's like, always, it always comes in. Know, I, can't, I, can't, I can't help myself. <laughs> Every week it's Italian, Scottish. Yeah, 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 yeah. My Scottish is the best one though, you know. I think you've even done an Indian Bons one, night. which okay, was the best. Okay, the new Happy Buns Night, everybody, if you went there, yeah, okay. Wow, we know it all. Right. Um, I'm gonna stick with Valentine's in Hoi Hin. Khao Takiab, down the end, it's near where you've got the, the mountain, uh, hence why it's Khao. It's where the ferry port is. You've got the Anantasala Resort, and if you want somewhere very romantic and to sit beach front and, in the evening a lot of tires come out on the beach and it really is quite a, a a tranquil place to go to that's my suggestion for a hidden little gem to go and enjoy a valentine's meal with your partner mm, okay then now uh, as i said uh, if you're a regular uh, viewer of the show you are going to make you're going to notice a few changes over the next few we weeks we actually thought 2018 we're going to try different things different ideas um you know so we're going to be implementing them and hopefully keep the show a little bit fresh if you've got any ideas for the show why not try and drop down a line it's dan at choicegroupasia.com and we are all eager to anything you want to see more so yeah drop us a wee line if you want to do that and also earlier on we mentioned the QR code situation we're going to be bringing more of them into the show you know how to do it there's a certain different ways grab your mobile phone point it at the TV all you have to do is go to Facebook search and you'll see a little QR icon and that will automatically take a photograph of the, um, the QR code and direct you to the site that's the easiest way of doing it to be honest but if you've got Google Chrome on your phone you can use that or you can download a QR reader so there's lots of ways uh, to get in touch with a QR reader, try it next week if you've not done yet so. Good advice and that wraps up our offers and recommendations for the week or weeks ahead. Uh, don't go anywhere, we'll be right back after the commercial break.
Welcome back everyone to the What's On Thailand show with Inspire. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like one of uh, Ash's vegan hot dogs actually. If you fancy a vegan hot dog, get onto Ash's uh, Facebook page because apparently he knows all about them. Yeah, he does. He does. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Ash and Gorg, welcome to the weird mind of Ash Pike. AKA Mr. Pike. Mr. Pike. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Pike. <laughs> yeah, really, really, we, we want to turn him into the, the Mr. Bean of our show, but he, he won't have it yet, but you know, he's doing a good job himself. Um, now, go back five or six months, and I was looking at the vlogs, video log, v vlog, as opposed to the, the written blog. And so I opened a Facebook page just for a hobby and started to vlog on Thailand. And I was very, very surprised pleasantly by the response and roll, roll five months forward and there's 3,500 followers. And some of the videos, they go viral. And the latest one was five signs to look for that you should leave Pat here. Have a look. Living away from home and especially Thailand in places like Pat here where I am now can be moments of pure bliss. You're living the dream, right? But is everyone really living the dream life? And are there red flag warning signs that you're better off jumping on a plane and getting back home? This vlog is playful in its objective, but certainly underpinned by some serious messages. Patia is really a great place. There's a starting point. There's lots to do, but we just need to make sure that we're in control and not Patia. There may very well come a point when you should consider calling it a day and leaving Patia. We all have different standards and acceptable living conditions, but if you've succumbed to a 3,000 bar a month studio with no aircon and a cold broken shower or even possibly a large barrel that you need to fill with cold water, you know the type, studios in the same block as the workers of Soiba Cow, then this is a number one sign that perhaps you're not living the dream and you need to go home. Sign number two, when you complain on one of the many online food groups on the social networks that a breakfast is costing you 99 bar and that it's too expensive or that the cup of tea you're drinking is not Tetley's tea bag, perhaps a member of staff don't curtsy to you too, I mean you are spending 99 bar. Remember, you do have a choice and you can buy a more expensive breakfast but perhaps you're watching your sedang a little more than you should. I even see one guy complain to a restaurant that his curry serving was not big enough. He was paying 149 baht and that meal come with a naan, rice and a half pint of beer. What does this guy want? It beggars belief. Drinking. Mm. It can often cross the line in Patia and become a big problem for some of the guys here. I knew one guy, this is serious actually, he got drunk not just every day, but twice a day. Once in the morning and once in the afternoon, after he woke from his lunchtime nap. If you're drinking every day and it's before 5 p.m., Patia may be about to consume you, spit you out, and chuck you out on the heap. Be warned, it could be time to leave. Another big sign, if you've stopped drinking in a beer bar and you now drink outside a 7-Eleven or a Thai shop as it's cheaper, then this should be alarm bells. That's my sign number three. Number four, hmm, this one's easy. If you have no money. I'm sure there are many guys here that would struggle to even find a flight home anyway. They will live here with no health insurance and be the wrong side of 60 years old. Really, it's a matter of time before something bad happens and it's not fair on everyone else that has to pick up the mess that goes with this. And finally, I'm almost there. If you've had a bad experience with your Thai partner, maybe they've taken all you've got and you're feeling depressed, alone and skin, but you still seem to think there's another TLAC out there for you to look after you. Go home before you fall off a balcony. To many, this list will read a bit harsh, but I've lived in Patia for over 10 years, and sadly, I've seen expats die far too young from over drinking, and I've also seen them not wanting to give up on Patia, even with no money. And their life is worse. If they stay here, then they just got on a plane and went home. 
Patia is a fantastic place. I understand why people don't want to give up on it. But sometimes you need to accept you're not living the dream. And if you're struggling even to pay for a meal, then maybe just go home. So there you go. Did you tick any of those boxes? I think Martin ticked one of them, which was something to do with the booze. I should have went home years ago, mate. Judging by your video, you know, I should have, I've overstayed my welcome by 10 years. <laughs> Maybe point six was if your name is Ash Pink. Uh, that's the end of the show. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to watch it again, you'll find it on YouTube along with some archived videos that we've made as well from the show. Search What's on Thailand Inspire. Stay safe, enjoy Thailand, and Martin, you're going to sign us off. Sign off the show, yes. If you want to watch the show again, you're probably crazy. You're probably time to leave Thailand if you watch the show twice, you know, that's Agree, all yeah. I can say, yeah. Okay, listen, the end of the show. This week, we headed down to Patia. Um, the largest Hooters in Asia is actually uh, located on Patia Beach Road. And guess what, Dan? It's two years since they opened. So they gave us a call. They said, get what's on, team? Can you come down? We'll get a two-year yes. anniversary party. Oh, by, have, enjoy yourself. And by the way, bring the camera. That's exactly what I've done. Have a look at this. We will see everyone else next week for the What's On Thailand show with Inspire. And look out for those changes. See you next week, guys. See you. Pizza time. Come on. <laughs> I want something just like this.